RC circuits. A resistor capacitor, otherwise known as an RC circuit, is a circuit composed of resistors and capacitors that are connected to a voltage source. This is the symbol for the battery here that's shown sometimes, as opposed to we've used this certainly, and we've actually used this. This is a capacitor, right? We've shown it like that, and this is a resistor. Here's the switch. We have a circuit with the battery, a light bulb, then a junction where we come up to a capacitor. We have a switch. There's another light bulb here. Notice how we switch to using the direction of conventional current flow. We're coming out of the positive terminal this way. Let's start with the switch open. There's no current in this branch, right? There's no complete path for current to flow. So the current flows just as indicated by the red lines here around this loop. So what's in the circuit? We have a battery, two light bulbs, each with the resistance R. So when we find current, current is equal to voltage over the equivalent resistance and what's the equivalent resistance of two resistors in series? Well, that would be 2R. So that's our current coming out of the battery. Now close the switch. Immediately after it is closed, there is no resistance in the branch with the capacitor. Remember, we don't have any charges on the capacitor yet, so there's no potential here opposing the flow of current. This looks like something called a short circuit. There's no resistance there at all. So the current flow is now through this light bulb, comes up this branch, and down here. So what happens to the current coming out of the battery when we close the switch? Well, current, of course, is Ohm's law, V over R. This light bulb is not in a circuit. So the only resistance we have here, current is V over R. So what happens is we have more current coming out of the battery and this light bulb here will get brighter. The current will increase in the first light bulb so it gets brighter, but none of the current is going through this light bulb now so it goes out. A long time after the switch is closed, and we'll deal with what that time is when we get to AP Physics C, this capacitor is fully charged and there is no more current in the top branch. The rest of the circuit behaves as if the capacitor were disconnected. Therefore, the current through the battery and through the two light bulbs is now back to its original current of V over 2R. So at the end of this procedure where we close the switch, the first bulb is going to return to its original brightness and the second bulb, which had turned off, now starts glowing again and returns to its original brightness, which is the same as this light bulb.